Hi, my name's Tritty, and welcome to Boston. Boston, the cradle of liberty. Founded in 1630, it's one of America's oldest and most historic cities. Today, it's a bustling hub for business and leisure. Trenton and I came here to see what this amazing city had to offer. Our first stop was the Boston Common. We're standing in the center of the Boston Common. It's the first park ever established in this country. It was made in 1634 and actually started out as a cow pasture, but then later became a site for public hangings. Uh, things are a bit different now, as you can see. It's a popular site for tourism, street performances, or just a casual stroll. And the squirrels are pretty friendly here. Hey, buddy. Ow. He bit me. You? He bit me a little bit. What? <laughs> he thought you were free. All right. I should. OK. Sure okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Turns out they're not so friendly. After getting cleared by the doctor for rabies, we headed over to Boston's North End. The North End is Boston's oldest neighborhood and home to many historic sites. We're out here in front of the Old North Church, which played an important part in the American Revolution. It was here that Paul Revere told his fellow patriots to hang lanterns to signal that the Redcoats were coming. The lanterns were hung from this steeple. One lantern was to be hung if the Redcoats were coming by land, two if by sea. Signal was seen across the water at Charlestown. From there, Paul Revere made his famous ride. The Redcoats landed soon after and began the Battle of Lexington and Concord against the Colonial Minutemen. Trenton and I got hungry, so we headed over to Bova's for a snack. All right, we just bought our cannolis. We're uh, looking for a place to sit down so we can enjoy these bad boys. All right, we just bought cannolis from Bova's. It's been a family business since 1932. And these look delicious. So, bon appetito. Wait, 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 Trenton. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Mm. Before Trenton and I left the North End, we went to pay our respects. So we're just on our way to the Esplanade when we ran into this large collection of people here on the street. And it turns out it's the Tibetan community of Boston here to greet the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama was coming to Boston to deliver a speech in the TD Gardens on educating the heart and mind. We were told that he would be making an appearance in several hours. We returned to the scene an hour later only to find that the Dalai Lama had already left. All right, we missed the Dalai Lama. I'm a little upset but we keep going on, we keep fighting. We'll get him next time, all right? Dalai Lama, next time you're in Boston, give us a ring. All right, now we're going up the windy, windy bridge to get us uh, to the other side of the inner pass to the Esplanade. Upon arrival at the Charles River Esplanade, we ran into historian and local personality, Boston Bob Powers. I was given the name Boston Bob several years ago because of my affinity for Boston's history. Where we stand now is the Esplanade, but at one time, this was all covered with water. Until a, an engineer named Laomi Baldwin devised the Cog Railroad to come down from the Needham Hills and dump all the fill in the Back Bay. Behind me is the Charles River. This is the very heart of trade in early Boston. It's named after King Charles I, and strangely enough, the uh, Captain John Smith, the guy who met Pocahontas, he traveled up through the Charles River and all along the coast of Massachusetts. Sitting on a dock of a bay, wasting time. It's actually a river. Charlestown is a cornerstone of America. That's where the Puritans first landed when they settled here. It was known as Mishawam. Bonania! Trenton! Trenton, I can't hold on much longer! Trenton! Trenton, take my hand! Trenton! Oh. It's thirsty work. Harvard is a secondary school for Boston Latin. 
Boston Latin's original school can be found on School Street near the Parker House, where John Adams and Ben Franklin went to school there. It's an honor to be able to share this history with you because I just believe that if we don't know our history, we don't know America. What a day this has been. What a rare mood I'm in. Why, it's almost like being in Boston. And what a city Boston was. It welcomed us in with open arms and treated us like its own. No matter where we went, Boston was ready with a smile. We made a lot of friends along the way, but it was time to bid this town farewell. Boston, the greatest city in the world! And you have a wonderful time when you go to Europe because Thank it's you a very much. good time. And so we waved a warm goodbye to Boston.